So what is bowl season exactly? It's college football's postseason for over a century. It spotlights the distinctiveness of each of the bowl games, along with their histories and traditions, along with their proud communities. It promotes the tradition and of the bowl system. To talk more about it, Nick Carparelli joins us, the executive director of bowl season. And Nick, why is the tradition of bowls something you're so passionate about? Well, you know, when you think about it, Jordan, it's one of the oldest and greatest traditions in American sports. It's been around for over 100 years, um, and we own the month of December. You know, you think about all of the professional sports, and uh, the NFL playoffs is in January. March Madness, uh, obviously, is in March. You have baseball that dominates October. December's bowl season. It's been that way for a long time. College football playoffs are a really important component of bowl season. But so are the rest of the bowl games. And, and you know, you know, you've, you've spoken to many people. Uh, you've been a part of bowl games yourself. The memories that those student athletes have playing in bowl games are some of the best memories they have in their entire football career. And they, they uh, carry them uh, around with them the, their entire lives. And, Nick, it should be what, what ultimately makes every player want to get out there and play in them. But we do have in this new era – uh, opt-outs. It's a part of bowl season. So how does that impact your guys' mission uh, to put on the best bowl possible? It really doesn't at all, Jordan. You know, we're, we're worried about the 99% of the players who opt in and, and want to participate in bowl games. I, I honestly feel bad for those student athletes who opt out. I, I think at the time that they do it, it might seem like a good idea. Uh, I don't think anybody who's played in a bowl game 20, 30 years later in their life says, boy, I wish I didn't play in that game. Uh, whereas I'm pretty certain a lot of these student athletes will say, you know, boy, I'd, I'd do anything to play in one more college football game uh, with my friends, with my teammates. So um, it's the job of all 43 bowl games to put on the, the best, uh, you know, the best uh, hospitality they can uh, for the student athletes that do play in the bowl game. So that's what we're focused on. Nick, I'm curious from your vantage point, from your perspective, the idea of college football playoff expansion, where do you sit with that, the idea of additional postseason games? Well, interestingly, and I think we surprised some people with this position, the bowl, bowl season uh, is really in favor of anything that's in the best interest of college football. The playoff is here. Uh, fans want a playoff. We all want the playoff. It's exciting for the sport. But we just want to make sure people remember that college football's postseason has two equally important parts, the playoff component and bowl season. It doesn't matter how big the playoff gets. There's four teams now. They can go from eight to 12. It'll never be big enough to accommodate all of the deserving teams each year who really have earned a postseason experience. It'll never be a 68 team seeded uh, bracket like the NCAA tournament. Um, and quite frankly, college football is a very uneven playing field. You and I both know there's a lot of institutions that, that, are very proud, have great histories and tradition, but probably are not in a position to challenge for a playoff spot on an annual basis. So what are they striving for? They're striving to get to a bowl game, and maybe next year a little bit different bowl game in a different destination, and then maybe they can build their program to the point where they can challenge for a playoff spot down the road. But there needs to be more than just the playoff. The bowl season has been college football's postseason for 100 years, and it's going to be around for a lot longer. Hey, Nick, you don't have to tell me twice. The pageantry, the history, the tradition, it truly is the most wonderful time of the year. I agree, my friend. Look forward to it. You're catching games on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Wednesday, whatever. You don't even know what day of the week it is. It's just good football. So I'm looking forward to it. Nick Carparelli, we appreciate the time. Anytime. Thanks for having me.